Hey coach, welcome back. Today is video five and this is the fifth step in becoming a successful private trainer. If you missed the last four videos, just go back to the last four weeks on YouTube and you'll be able to see those. And I recommend that you watch those step by step before you start watching this video. Now, it's really, really important that I say a disclaimer before you dig in this video. A lot of coaches out there, when they hear the word scaling their business, what they think is, oh, I need to do that right at the beginning. How can I scale my business? But they don't even have any clients yet, right? This is why we went through these videos in sequence. There's, a, there's an order to everything with your business. And when we want to scale the business, there's really one word that comes into my mind that has to happen in order to take your business from like 10 athletes or 10 players to 100 and go from like one city to the next. Or if you're running camps, how to duplicate yourself in multiple cities, All right? And the word is not scaling. The word is systems. And this is the number one thing I teach in our, in our mastermind program. Because when you have systems in place, those systems can run without you. If you don't have any systems in place, you are stuck doing all the work, which ultimately really sucks because that means the more clients you get, the more work you're going to be doing. And you're going to be running yourself <laughs> into a rat race when that happens because you're not going to want to take on any more clients anymore. And when we have systems in place, and I'll give you three good examples of systems. This means that number one, hopefully you can see this. I'm going to erase this real quick so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So the first system is sales. The second one is marketing. The third is referrals. If you don't can't see referrals, I'll write it up here. And in my opinion, these are not in any order. I'm just labeled it that way. But first I'll start with marketing. When I think about marketing, this means that every day there's something that's happening without you where clients or prospects they're learning more about what you're doing. So I'll give you a great example. If you are a private basketball coach or a private soccer coach or a private, any coach, you could, any sport you could think of, I think that, well, how could I get a message in front of parents? Well, that could be an email. That could be a daily email. That could be a podcast. That could be um, a Facebook video. That could be you getting on the phone and talking. That could be you meeting certain key influencers in your area that leads you to more clients. This can happen online and offline. It's good to have both. If you're just doing offline marketing, you're going to be limited to what you can do. That has to be something that's happening all of the time. And that's not just something that you do. It, you turn that into a system, all right? So that needs to be a system, okay? With referrals. That is also a system. One of the things I do is at the very end of the first month that any new player trains in our program, I talk to the parents. I'm going to ask them for a referral. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to, now that I know that I'm helping their kid and their kids are already getting results, well, guess what? Why would I, why would I be afraid to ask for a referral? I, I think the only reason why I would be afraid is if I'm not getting results with that kid. So I'm going to consistently ask for referrals. And that means I'm consistently getting new clients into my program when you have that as a system, all right? And lastly here with sales. In order to have a sales system in place, you need to have a script. This means you know exactly what to say over the phone that can take any prospect and turn them into a client. And the way you get prospects is by consistently marketing. 
we're not just marketing for you to be popular and be this like Instagram guru that has 50,000 followers and none of those followers are customers. We, we are not talking about that. I'm talking about laser targeted marketing towards parents who have kids that play the sport that, that you coach that need help. That is the marketing we're talking about. And then from there, we turn these viewers or these prospects all right, into leads. And then when we get on these sales calls, when we have a script, then we can use that script, take any lead, talk to them, ask questions. We interview them. We see if they're the right fit. If they're the right fit, they're gonna join your program. If they're not the right fit, well, they could join a an alternative program that you offer. And these are three things that have to happen in order for you to scale your business. But these have to be systems. You can't just say, well, I'm gonna ask for more referrals. If that's not a system, it's not gonna work. You can't just say, oh, I'm just gonna go post a random video on, on Instagram. That's not a system. That's random marketing. That does not work, all right? And with sales, it's, it can't just be like, well, I'm gonna go make two sales calls this week. Well, if you don't know what you're gonna say, I don't assume, I, I, I assume that phone call is gonna go terrible for you. Right? So that needs to be a system. All of this is a system. When that happens, scaling your business is very easy. Right? And you can scale your business without hiring coaches too. And you can do it with or without. This all comes down to how you really wanna set it up. But remember that word systems. That is extremely important. None of the last four or five weeks that we've talked about will, will make sense in the future for your business. And I'm talking like three to four years from now unless you have systems in place. Systems allow you to exponentially grow what you are currently building. That's it for the video. If you want to take advantage of our free ebook and video series, make sure and head over to iTunes, leave us a review. The last couple of weeks, I feel like I'm begging you to do that, but guess what? I wanna hook you up with something that's very valuable if you just leave us a review on iTunes and it's my way of helping you out and I want to hook that up for you. And again, just go to iTunes, leave us a review on our podcast. Just search my name, Ben Neighbors. You'll find our podcast there. Leave us a review and I'll hook you up with that. And if you have any other questions, leave us a comment below this video here on YouTube and I'll see you next week.